adding a place of worship survey. A survey in GAP is a snapshot of a people group for the purpose of better understanding the people groups around your team to help your current Great Commission engagement or for doing research for future Great Commission engagement. By adding surveys in GAP, you are better able to increase your vision of God's work, inform your prayers about God's work, improve your preparation for God's work, and invite others to participate in God's work. Use the Place of Worship survey to mark places of worship you find around your team. To record a Place of Worship survey in GAP, select the appropriate team from the side menu and select Activities. Now select the Create Activity button at the top of the screen. From the drop-down list of core task categories, select Entry, and in the pop-out menu, select Place of Worship Survey. In the Contributor section, select the Add Member symbol and the search box to include anyone else from the team that was with you. Select the Add Members button. In the Location section, select the Default or Current button to use one of those preset locations. If neither of those is the correct location where the people were found, Select the Location Selector to search for a different location. You can search for the location in the search box or move and zoom on the map to find the correct location. When you have the right location, select Continue. In the Win section, enter the date, date range, or time range over which the activity occurred. In the Type of Place of Worship section, select the Type of Place of Worship. If the type is not in the default list, you can choose other and enter your own type. Depending on the type you select, additional, different options will appear to help more precisely identify the place of worship. If you selected the other type, the purpose of other place of worship section will appear. Enter the purpose or any other information about the place of worship. In the Name of Place of Worship section, you can optionally enter a name for the place. In the Language Used When Meeting section, you can optionally select the primary language used at the place of worship. In the Attendance Estimate section, select the Best Attendance Range Estimate that you have for the place of worship. If you selected the church type, the primary Christian affiliation section will appear. Select the major Christian affiliation. Once selected, denominations within that affiliation will become available. In the Place of Worship Information section, you can select the particular group or groups that were found. For People Group, you can select one of your defaults or use the Other option to select a different people group from the list. By default, this brings up the people groups that GAP knows are near the location you selected. But if the people group you are looking for is still not in the list, you can select the search box and type the name of the people group you are looking for. Of course, if you don't know the people group, you can leave it as unknown. For language, you can select one of your defaults or use the other option to select a different language from the list. By default, this brings up the languages that GAP knows are near the location you selected. But if the language you're looking for is still not in the list, you can select the search box and type the name of the language you are looking for. Of course, if you don't know the language, you can leave it as unknown. For some types, religious background will appear. You can select one of your defaults or use the other option to select a different religion from the list. By default, this brings up the religions that GAP knows are near the location you selected. But if the religion you're looking for is still not in the list, you can select the search box and type the name of the religion you were looking for. And of course, if you don't know the religion, you can leave it as unknown. 
If there were multiple people groups, languages, or religions found, add them using the repeat button. In the comments box, add more details, select the submit button. You will then return to your team dashboard with an activity created successfully notification at the bottom of the screen. If you make a mistake, you can always select the edit button for the activity, make the necessary changes, and select save. That's it. You are preparing for another work of the Lord among all peoples and places. Praise God for the work he is doing.